Hi everybody! So the last time I assembled a PDF pattern, I had a couple of people ask for a little bit more detail in how I assemble my PDF patterns. So give me just a second, we'll head over to my computer and we'll start there. So first thing is pull up your PDF pattern that you've downloaded. And then to print them, obviously you're going to click on the print icon. Which will then bring up, of course, your print screen. You want to make sure you have it at actual. Don't hit, you know, shrink to for oversized pages or anything. Make sure you have it on actual size, have enough paper in the machine, and then click print. So once you get all your pages printed, you're going to be ready to start assembling. Give me just a second, I'll show you all the tools that I use to put them together. So I like to use my Fisker paper cutter. And then I also use uh, glue stick and scotch tape. So pretty simple. The first page you get is the layout. So it shows you how many, how to lay them out. So this one has four across and one, two, three, four, four down. So very, very simple. And you just follow this pattern. It also includes, of course, all the copyright information. So as you can see, I've already done the top row. For the top row, all I have to do is really just cut off the right hand side, match up the little diamonds, make sure all the lines line up, and glue them together. Now with all of the other rows, I cut off the top and the right hand side. So I just line it up and pull that apart, and there we go. So then we'll get the right side lined up as well. And voila. So the reason that I cut off the top and the right hand side is that way it leaves me this lip right here, this excess to put the glue on, and then I can just glue it on once I get this all lined up. Same for down the side. As you can see, all I have to do is run glue here, run glue here, and then line it up. So now I have two rows done, and I only have two more to go. So I hope that was helpful and answered any questions anyone might have. Um, like I said, this is just the way I put PDF patterns together. I'm sure there are other methods that work equally as well, if not better. I know I didn't actually use the scotch tape in the video, but I typically just do that after I cut if something isn't quite glued down well. So anyway, thanks so much, and again, hope it helps.